Last week I had a power supply that was shipped in. It was from an SLV R1000 to change out caps that were leaking and uh, repair the traces on the board. And of course I got the voltages working, but the question came up, well, how do you know it's really working? Well, let's uh, see if it's really working because I just happen to have an SLV R1000. I'll pull the power supply on it, plug this one in and see if it powers up. Let's check it out. And I might even be in for a surprise because I haven't used mine for a couple months. You remember the other day I um, repaired a power supply that was shipped in and it was out of an SLV R1000. Before shipping it back, I know it's working, but before shipping it all the way back across the country, I figured I would take this time to actually unplug. This is my SLV R1000. We're going to unplug the power supply from this one, plug it into the one that I repaired and make sure that it actually powers up before I ship it back. I know it's going to work, but there's a few people that were kind of concerned. They did say, oh, you're not load testing it and blah, blah, blah. So let's power it up and end and, and all the speculation before I ship it back to Ontario that it actually is working. And actually that, that came out of a, a machine that I fixed about a year ago that was shipped into me to repair. And then the power supply dies a year later. So he sent me the power supply. But let's pop this one out. Let's just unplug it. and We'll plug the other one in and uh, verify that it still works, that the, that the power supply is functional. Because this should be pretty simple. Just a matter of undoing the power cord and plugging it in. Might be harder to put the power cord back in when I'm done, but I'll probably regret this, but there it goes. There's one cord, and the other one is down here. I may have to pull the back off this to plug the cords back in, but I don't have to take the power supply out, that's for sure. Just plug this one in here. Plug that one in there and just hang it off the back. We'll plug the machine into the CRT monitor and verify that it's working. First of all, will it turn on? Yes, it does. This machine better work. This is mine. There it is. It's working perfect. The power supply is repaired. That was the important thing we needed to verify. Well, I didn't need to verify it, but there was a few people out there that the question whether it was working. So I just wanted to make a quick video to show that it is indeed working. And now I can ship this one back with full confidence that when it goes back in service, that there won't be an issue with the power supply. Everything's working as intended. Uh, I guess I have to fix my machine. Um, I have a feeling that the uh, the gear is cracked on my machine now. Wonderful. Well, I guess we'll be doing that. We'll be fixing that. I wasn't intending to have to fix my machine again, but uh, obviously it's got a problem. Is it the gear slipping? Though this wasn't intended to be a repair of the front loader. I've done that before. I'm gonna I obviously have to do it again on this machine because this is my machine and I just use this machine. I just used this machine like not that long ago for doing some super VHS tapes. I normally use a regular VHS machine for regular tapes and I haul this one out when I get S tapes and I had some S tapes in about a month ago and it was working fine. So um, this was good with epoxy before. I'm just wondering where it's slipping. But I'm not going to bother pulling this out and showing you guys this. This was more just to test the power supply. So I'll do, the, I'll do this and uh, we'll put it back in and we'll test it one final time. To make sure everything's working now that I got the original power supply connected again. In fact, I just did one of these last week where I had to do the the uh, front loader. So maybe I'll use the Bondic glue on here as well. Although this one had epoxy on it before and it, it you know it lasted me a couple of years. But these are quite easy. You don't even have to take the front panel off them, you just take out the four screws unplug the uh, front loader. Okay, uh, re-epoxied it. It's working back with the original power supply too. I wanted to make sure that I didn't damage anything. There we go. So um, yeah, I guess it was over a year ago I did this and um, 
it, the gear didn't crack or anything any more than it was, but it was just where the epoxy was on the metal shaft, it was slipping because the epoxy, I guess, doesn't doesn't uh, stick that well to metal. It was still sticking fine to the plastic. I had to peel it off, but um, yeah, it was the metal. It was slipping on the actual metal shaft. Anyway, that wasn't about that. That's why I didn't show it. This was about testing the power supply, and it's working fine. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.